Hey guys, so it has been some time since the project submission for the data visualization has been pending. So we will be looking into that right now. Sorry for the delay in the same. I was uh, quite uh, busy with the office work and everything. So right now we'll be discussing upon that. Okay. So this is the project that you have to create the same project that we had discussed in the last two days. Okay. You have to create all the plots that we have discussed. Okay. As you're able to see the bar charts, the um, SB charts, then the additional variations that we saw, then the count the missing data. Then you were having the pie charts, the donut chart, the histograms, first using the plot.hist and then we had the uh, sb.dist plot as well so all the plots that we have discussed in the previous class in the previous two class using the same data set that is the pokemon data set that has been provided as a drive link down in the description of the video itself okay you have to create this entire same project okay so you can just pause the video right now i will just like scroll it down slowly that you are able to see the code as well it is the same code you can refer to the last two videos as well you will be be able to identify from right over there okay it's very easy everything we have already discussed there's nothing new in this okay each and every single code we have discussed in the previous last two classes and you have to create the exact same uh ipynb file from right over here once you have created the same once you've created all these plots that you are able to see from right over here okay you have to click on this particular share button on the top right corner okay on the top right corner you have this particular share button you click on that once you've clicked on the same you have to copy the link okay you have to copy the link from right over here once you have copied the link you want to go to the project submission form that is down in the description of the video itself okay you have to submit the link right over here as a google collab link okay directly the link right over here also, if you want, you can showcase whatever project that you have built on LinkedIn as well. You can take up a post from right over there if you have made and put it up right over here in the LinkedIn post link. Many of the students have already done that. I can show you guys the same so that you are also able to understand which type of post uh, students are making right over there. So just give me a second. So for example, this is one of the posts that a student had created for our React JS bootcamp. So able to see they have shown the code the project that they have built so it's uh extremely simple guys you can copy the link for the save and put it up in the uh linkedin post link as well once you have done that you can submit the project from the project submission form that is down in the description of the video itself and uh, yeah that would be it you have up till so from today you have up till 10th of july so 10th of july midnight would be will be the project submission deadline okay 10th of july midnight so you have three days uh to create the entire project that i think so more be will be more than sufficient because we have already discussed all the code so it will be very simple for you guys as well uh and yeah after that these certificates will be issued to you in a week or so okay so thank you so much guys i hope that that completes our pro python and data visualization bootcamp and i hope to see you guys in the future bootcamps as well thank you so much guys thank you